All right. So uh, thank you, Don. Sorry about that. Uh, I appreciate the introduction. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for your time. So as uh, Don said, my name is Scotty Cornett. Uh, I recently completed the web development pathway through Code U. Currently, I live in Burlington, Kentucky, and I work at 3M as the quality control analyst for our 3M plant or for our Hebron, Kentucky plant. Uh, I'm actually relatively new to programming. Uh, prior to the pandemic, I didn't really consider myself a computer guy at all. Uh, I had no real professional interest or even hobby interest in computers. But during the lockdown, I started watching a lot of PC building videos on YouTube. I ended up building my first gaming PC, and I really loved it. I would spend hours a day gaming on it. But eventually, I wanted to find it like a more productive way to spend my time on it. So I discovered programming. And I began coding as a hobby, making small Java applications in my spare time. And then I got introduced to Code Kentucky through a code worker who was actually a software development uh, student, and I decided to apply. I got in, and I completed the software development pathway last year. Then I helped mentor the Intro to Programming module as a student mentor last summer. And then most recently, I completed the web development pathway. So my uh, capstone project for web dev was the website for Jurassic Park. If it was a real place somewhere, you know, you could go and visit. Uh, this is a screenshot of the landing page for the site. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm displaying the current temperature and weather for Costa Rica, which is the approximate location of the park in the book and movies. Uh, this is real-time weather data from a weather API called Weatherbit. Uh, I also have some uh, JavaScript logic built in to show if the park is open or closed based on the time of day. Uh, on the upper right hand corner, you'll see uh, links to sign up or create a, uh, to log in. Uh, the navigation bar also has links to book a trip, to display a table of the current dinosaurs, and a contact form, which is the, da the data for that contact form goes to a MongoDB, as well as the data for the dinosaurs comes from a MongoDB. The Start Your Adventure button also links to the same page as the Book Now link. And so I, I picked this. This project, because I wanted to combine my passion as a child with my current passion as an adult, I still remember being nine years old in the theater and just terrified out of my mind of that movie and awestruck at the same time. It was a feeling I never forgot, and so that's something I used to breathe life into this project. Uh, also, as my uh, ultimate goal is to be a full stack developer, I feel like it afforded me a platform to showcase my skills in both the front end and back end development. I'm really happy with how the back end implementation complements the user interface and creates an effective theme park style interface. Lastly, I wanted to create something that was kind of unique to my own personal experience. Uh, the core elements that I used for this project were Node.js, Express, EJS for uh, HTML templating. I used Mongoose, uh, Mongoose as an NPM package and MongoDB for the database. The dinosaur user data and contact information, as I mentioned, are all stored in MongoDBs. I used Bcrypt for user authentication and hashing passwords and JavaScript for HTML, CSS, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to round out the project. Here I'm showing uh, just a quick screenshot of a main page uh, because I wanted to highlight the biggest project problem that I have with this project, and that was to have it responsive. With uh, the huge range of devices that we have today, uh, it's important to make the site look good to all uh, end users to no matter what their device. I did not design the site in a mobile first way, so that actually provided me a lot of headaches along the way. Thankfully, this led to a deeper understanding and appreciation for CSS properties of Flexbox and Grid. Uh, being more comfortable initially with the JavaScript, JavaScript side of web development, this is a great learning uh, experience on how to design effective front-end layout. Uh, so I learned that it's never a good idea to store a user password in a database. Obviously, uh, data breaches are a thing, and we never want to compromise sensitive information. So hashing algorithms are critical to protecting data should a breach happen. I learned how to use the Express Router to serve different pages of a website. I gained a much deeper appreciation and understand, understanding of Flexbox and Grid. And lastly, I got some experience working with NoSQL databases such as MongoDB. And about myself, just quick takeaways. I'm passionate and motivated. Uh, I'm resourceful. I'm able to find solutions to the project to the problems I encounter, and I've, I'm eager to learn. I've completed two Code Kentucky pathways in the last year, and I appreciate your time. Here's my contact information should you need it. 
I'll be in one of the breakout rooms. I thank you for your time again.